ClueJ has a convenient feature that allows you to interactively create objects, um, invoke their methods, and inspect their instance variables. So I'm going to demonstrate that with the mileage tracker class that we wrote earlier. The way that you take advantage of this feature is you right click on the class in the BlueJ project window and choose the constructor that you want. I'm going to choose the default constructor for the mileage tracker class. When I do so, I'm able to give a name to this particular instance. Think of this as like the variable name. I'm going to call mine Subaru and hit OK. And when I do so, a red box appears down here, uh, which shows, uh, which represents the, the object um, that has been created in the computer's memory, much like the sheets of paper we use when we do our conceptual modeling. To inspect the object's uh, attributes, I can double click on the red rectangle and get this other window that pops up where I can visually inspect all of the attributes. I can leave this window open as I perform different operations um, to interactively see how the instance variables change. So for example, I can right click on the red object down here again, and I could choose to invoke the increment miles driven method. And I could say that we have driven 68 miles and I could hit okay. Um, similarly, I could right click on here and invoke the increment fuel consumed method. And the dialog pops up, which asks me to specify the argument, the number of gallons. And so I'm going to say we used uh, three gallons of gas. And I'll hit OK. Um, we can invoke methods that return values as well. So if I invoke the get mileage method, um, a window pops up where the return value is specified. Um, you know, here's the double 22.6 and so on and so forth. Um, this can be very convenient for testing out different classes. Um, if I want to interact with strings, I could call the setVin method. I need to pass a string as an argument here, so I'm going to put that in double quotes. Um, that's not really a VIN number, but that's OK. And I'll hit OK. And I can see over here again that that's updated as well. So BlueJ will nicely display strings, even though this instance variable's value is really a reference to a string object stored elsewhere in the computer's memory. Um, and you can see that by clicking on the string, and you'll notice that there's this inspect button, which allows me to open up another red window um, that represents the string actually stored in the computer's memory. Um, that's more useful when we store references to other types of objects. When all is said and done, I can close out the object window. I can right click on the object and choose to remove it. Um, and I'm back to where I started.